Today we're going to be talking about when you hear back from colleges um, that you apply to, but more specifically we're going to be talking about when you hear back from UW-Madison. Before we get started, remember to keep checking if all your information and all of your stuff that you needed to send to the university has been sent. Um, if not, make sure that you remind those who wrote your recommendation letters or just remind yourself to send the stuff that needs to be sent. The information for how to check if all your application materials were sent um, is on your student center. Um, so if you don't remember how to do that, we did that during fall cohort, uh, but it's also um, on the end of this module if you need a reminder. Okay, before we get started, I'm just going to go over some announcements. Ask me for help if you need it. Uh, remember, I am here for you. I would love to help you with your regular application, scholarships, um, or other schools you're applying to, and your essays. Um, make sure that you send me your final UW-Madison uh, essays. Um, if you submitted a revised copy of the essay that you submitted on Canvas, please send it to me. I would love to read it. Um, and then tell me whether you, um, also tell me when you hear back from UW-Madison, regardless of the decision. We would love to know um, what the, when you hear back. And also I would like to know so I can help you uh, with anything you might need. Also, let me know if you get accepted into any other colleges. We would love to know. It is a huge achievement and we would love to celebrate with you. All right, if you applied early decision, then you will hear back from UW-Madison by the end of January, early February. If you are applying a regular decision, then you will hear back at the end of March, early April. Um, you will either get accepted, denied, or deferred. This will be sent by a letter that is generated the next day after they have decided and you will receive it within one to two weeks. Your online status will also change and you can see that change uh, within two business days on your student center. If you were accepted, congratulations. Um, you did a lot of work, but you should not slack yet. UW Madison can ask for your final transcripts. If your final transcripts um, declined, um, then UW-Madison can resend their offer, which means that they will send you a letter saying that they would um, take their, their offer back. Um, so make sure you keep working up to the last day of high school. If you applied in November, you can wait and see what other schools you got accepted into and consider how much they are offering you in financial aid. You have plenty of time to make your decision as to what school you want to attend um, and you can also even keep applying to other schools if um, you find out that you want to go somewhere else. If you're applying regular decision, um, there will be a little less time for you to um, do the steps I talked about before, but you should still keep your options open and make sure that you attend a school that you really want to go to and um, consider what type of aid they're willing to give you. Um, being accepted comes with an enrollment packet, so you will be receiving one. The enrollment packet will come with an enrollment form, information about the payment for your deposit, um, housing information, and the summer collegiate experience, SCE. And SCE we have talked about since um, the start of TTI, so you should all know that it's a six-week program um, with people, where you will stay in the dorms for that time. If you're ready to commit after you have seen all of the other um, colleges' decision and you're ready to commit to UW Madison, then you can return the enrollment packet. Um, so you will start by returning your enrollment, intent to register, or matriculate form. Um, remember to pay the deposit. This will hold your spot. Um, and just also remember that people will pay this deposit for you if you are um, attending UW Madison. If you choose to go to another school, you will have to pay for it. But if you choose to come to UW Madison, then people will pay the deposit for your um, enrollment. Um, and it should be automatically filled in when you um, start submitting things. Um, also remember, you usually have to accept or deny your offer by May 1st to any school you are um, that you applied to. 
It is considered unethical to commit to more than one school, so take your time to really decide what school you want to go to. You are not able to say, I want to go to UW-Madison, and I also want to go to UW-Whitewater and pay the deposit for those. That is unethical, so make sure you really weigh which, um, make sure that you really see which school you want to go to and uh, just stick with one and pay the deposit for that one. Uh, and don't forget to let schools know that you are not attending. It's um, just a nice thing to do to let schools know that you are not planning on attending. Also, make sure that you set up um, email communication and check your email often with that school that you are choosing to attend. They will be sending you a lot of emails about uh, registration, um, for example, UW-Madison sends a lot of emails on SCE, uh, people who will send you emails, so make sure that you set up email communication and check your email regularly. So um, if you were denied, first take a day to wallow. It does suck to get rejected, um, but it's fine. It happens. Then pick yourself up and look forward. Take your time to review your target and safety schools because we did those schools for a reason and we applied to other schools for a reason, right? So take time to look at those and review them and pick one that you uh, want to go to after you have been denied, for example, at UW-Madison. And then you can also consider applying to other safety and target schools. Regardless of whether you applied early or regular decision, you still have plenty of time to apply to more schools. And then consider reworking on your essays and activity section. Um, because you might want to apply to other schools, this is a perfect time to rewrite those and see where you might have gone wrong on those. And stay positive. If anything, you can always transfer to UW-Madison and get the rest of your scholarship here. So um, it does suck, but you can still get here one way or another. All right, now, if you are deferred, read the letter very carefully and follow the instructions that they have laid out for you. You were neither admitted nor denied. You are just kind of in limbo. They will ask for a lot of other information to see whether they can, you will have a spot. This is kind of their waiting list, but this is called deferred. Um, what you should do after that is review your safety and target schools. Again, we did this list for a reason, so you should be looking at these schools to see where else you can go if anything were to happen. You can also consider applying to other schools. Still a great time to keep applying to schools because you want to go somewhere. And start setting up plan B in motion. Add new information to your application file. New information would make your application stronger. Grades, test scores, scholarships and awards you have received, other recommendation letters, and community service. And go the extra mile. Contact professors and let them know you really want to go there.